Billy with Gamer back online and we're playing They Are Billions. Basically, I've just I played the game for yesterday all for 12 hours, so I've got a good basis of what we need to do to start off. So I'm going to do a little tutorial video to show you what to build at the start. I'd recommend pausing it when you need to as well. So when you've got things that you need to do or repair, uh, pause it and get them repaired and although you will need the real time to happen for gold to come in and things along those lines. So this main command center will bring gold in. Basically it will bring in about 200 to 300 gold. 193 gold you can see on the right hand side that we're getting 193 plus gold every 8 hours of this day. So first day 8 hours we just got our first 193 gold. You'll need the gold to build things for your colony and civilizations. So tents in that first place will be where your people can stay and you'll get more workers and more colonists through doing this. I'd recommend putting them or I'd put them in a line to start off with but I'd recommend putting them quite far away from the base just because then you can build defenses behind them and the defenses will protect the that main command center. If that gets destroyed or gets infected you're dead basically. There's no repairing that. That is death. So you need to build the tents for workers. You'll need to build a you want a wood sawmill like ASAP basically that sawmill will do you really benefit you because then you'll get an income of wood you need to put the wood mill near trees you can see that where I'll place it it will depend on how many it will bring in every eight hours so again if I put it there I can get 12 so that's the most efficient place for me to put the sawmill um same with the quarry you have to put the quarry near stone so you can see there's a deposit of stones there so I can put it there and that will bring in probably two um, stone every eight hours. Stone doesn't come in anywhere near as quickly as the wood does. So once that's built, we should be able to then, what we want to build is the soldier centre. If we can build the soldier centre, which is in there, the military, then we should have enough. We should be able to train archers and that will be the first line of defence because we need archers and we need uh, just people on the floor attacking the zombies and protecting the building each person you can individually select you press a on them to select and then press b to put them somewhere so you can put people like just dot them around there so because i've only got five people at the moment so i might as well just make sure that nothing gets attacked and especially my main base so i've got full coverage the waves will be really small at the moment so i shouldn't have to worry i've got protection here from rocks the the zombies can't go through trees they can't go through rocks so I've got this place here that they can come from, this place here that they can come from, up there. Oh no, look, we've got C there. There might be some way in that they can get there. Not necessarily though, sometimes it is blocked off, which can be handy for just a nice peaceful like farm or something up there. Um, so what you, like I was saying, you want to build the quarry next, but we need to build a hunter's yard. We need to get food coming in. Uh, we've only got we got 11 at the moment, so we're not too badly done, but I've always found that the fisherman, if you can get a fisherman cottage, it will always bring in more than the the hunters. So if I can find somewhere like 14 there, so if I put that there, that will bring in 14 food. And the 14 food in every hour, it's just at the bottom here on the right hand side, that is just, your people come in, they'll eat the food. So it's not like per week or per day, it's just, it gets consumed and that's just like, just works out that way. Um, like I said, you can also build a hunter's hunter. If you haven't got water, which is normally the case, with the hunters, you want to put it in the arable land. So if you've got a few trees or something along those lines, that you can see it brings in 12 here. If I put it in this desolate area over here, it brings in five. It brings in something, but not a lot. So you really want to put your hunted area, your hunted near wood. Look, it's 14 there, 16 there. That is the best place. I can put it there. So have a little scroll around when you are placing the hunters lodges and the fishermen's and the wood lodges and the quarry. So now I can build the quarry. That's because I've got the workers from there as well that are left over. I've got five spare workers. That, that's there on the right hand side. You can see the little hand with a spanner on it. Workers available five, working nine, total in the colony 14. So to build the soldier center, I need stone. To get stone, I need to build a quarry. That quarry is going to bring in very little stone. There's only little stone there, so not really a lot I can do about that. I can only place it there and just slowly try and find some more stone. When you're expanding, 
You can see I think that's iron up there because that's a different colour. When you are expanding your map, you will need to build what is called a Tesla tower. It takes one worker and 200 gold and 10 wood. So it's not that expensive, but it's, it takes, and you can see it just opens the map up. So I can now build where that grid is getting lit up. I can build there. So that would be massively helpful for finding other deposits of iron. You can see there's more. It looks like there's more down here. So if I put that there, then I should be able to build another quarry. At the moment, you can see, what's this? This is my stone here stone plus one every eight hours and i can only store 50 at the moment as you progress through the game you can uh, get warehouses and upgrade so your wooden towers become stone towers you, you need to build wood towers or walls there in your defenses here wood wall wood gate and wood tower it's always good to have a tower that's what i find so if i put a tower here I put it there, then I can get, bring her in and she should be able to protect. Well, I can't move any yet because she's not being built. But once you select her, press B on it, you'll see there's a little arrow that points into it. And that'll be... Okay, where are we being attacked from? We're we being attacked from there. See, so you'll see that... Oh, we don't really... She might get hurt. They're quite slow and there's only a few of them at the start, but they will attack you early on. The old zombies or infected as they are called in there. So once that's built, I'm going to chuck them in there, and that'll be, give us a little bit of protection. When you have, when things have been attacked, they'll be infected, and you'll need to repair them. So you'll see that this is, I can't repair this now because there's a zombie right next to it. Now I can repair it because that zombie's just died, and that my food has gone right down. So when that's, that's back up, you'll see my food will go back up to like 40 or 30, yeah, 41. So you'll see now we've got a bit of protection with them in the tower. With that, you build towers, and then you build walls around the towers if you can, giving them a bit of protection, because obviously they're the things that are taking out the zombies. You can use other buildings as a distraction, but obviously walls are there and the best for them. But they've got quite a big range. It's a bit annoying that they don't tell you how far the range is for archers and the actual, like, you can get soldiers in there and whatnot. Why are they not attacking? My wood yard's going to go down. And this is what I don't get as well. Welcome. Sometimes they attack, sometimes they don't. See, she can attack from there. They can't. I bring him, bring him. Oh dear. Run away. Go on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Don't die as a soldier. Don't you die on me, sir. I get him in there. He's the strongest with the gun. That's cool. So now we need to repair it. So if something's infected, obviously your wood will not come in anymore. So your wood will completely stop. And that'll be that. So like I said, I really need to try and get to this iron ore there. I need the Tesla's back on now. So if I can do that, I've got plenty of gold. I've got plenty of wood at the moment. If your wood gets to 50, start using it because, or near 50, start using it because it won't store any more than it can, if you get what I mean. So basically, if that gets to 50, then I'm on plus 12 at the moment. So three will go into it and the other nine will just be thrown away and not used. So you're better off going, alright, cool, I've got too much wood. Just build a wall around something. So you've got a bit of protection. This is probably the best thing to build a wall around because that's going to actually kill people rather than that. Like I said, they, the, the zombies can't get through the trees. So you're quite alright if you're using that as a barrier. You can't get through the rocks and then you can just play it on and... We're trying to build a soldier centre and then from there at least you can build your things. You can see we need eight workers, we've got zero at the moment. To get workers we have to build the camps, so we shall build the camps. My, my mouse, or say my controller has got an auto scroll by accident, you know, it's just damaged basically. So if I build that there and then build that, these are going to bring in two workers each, so if I put two there two there, so that should bring in six. I'm going to need more than that, but that's fine for now. I'll put, bring her over there because they're not exactly... Right, let's build a wood tower over here as well. Put a tower there, and then that can be protecting that. Oh, they can't go in it yet, but when it's built, they'll go in that, and then that'll give that a bit of protection. Because all you've got at the moment is these fire, so 
Bow stakes trap bonus. No, we don't want trap. We want the great ballista. That's a really strong, well, not really, really strong, but stronger than what I've got at the moment. I think even with the archers, four archers, I'd prefer a ballista. A great ballista. And then from there, I can build that somewhere. Build that there. Then the zombies, you can see they're, they're going to protect it while it's built. But once that's built, then that will then be destroying zombies itself. All right, these two. You can now go in your little tower. You need to protect that side. Well done. And you'll see the zombies are slowly coming in. And we are nine on the stone at the moment. We need 20 stone to be able to build that soldier centre. To be able to build more uh, archers. And that's the first sort of line of defence. And that's when I'm going to stop this video. Because I mean, once you're there, you can actually build a few wood towers and a few archers. You kind of know what you're doing. It's basically, when you need... Workers, you need to build tents or upgrade tents into cottages eventually and then cottages into houses and you can upgrade them through research and things along those lines. Um, if you need uh, food, you need to create a hunt. You need to go to your resources. You need to do a hunter, a fisherman. And again, you can research farms and farms are really good. They'll bring in 55 up to 50 to 60, between 50 and 60 on a good bit of land you need to put it on the green land the farms because that's the arable land whereas the rest of it's not so you can put fishermen you can't put them too close to each other but you can probably put another one up here and then again he'll bring in plenty of fish he'll bring in food for the lads and that's what we want so if your food's low but you need to build that if your electricity is low then you need to build a mill uh, to start off with you can eventually build a power plant and etc get with the research you build up and whatever but for a lot of it you're going to be building the mill when you need power that uses power the tesla tower so at no point building that it literally uses it but that extends your map like i used it earlier you can see i could do that and then bring um i could do that and then put another wood yard there and it will have power and it will create more wood for my colony so we're still really slow on getting this woods. So we want to build another quarry if possible. See if the quarry, if we can build another quarry. Uh, we need four workers. So we're low on workers again. All right, cool. We can build, we'll just build some workers if I can get them to the I mean, workers. We need to build tents. And when you got, you might as well just go boom, boom. Oh, why do I do that? You want to get them obviously like right next to each other for efficiency. So that's a bit annoying. You should really. People are saying mouse and keyboard for this game is a lot better, which I can completely imagine is correct. And then let's put one there so there's a little way they can walk through. So that'll bring me in eight workers. Eight workers will allow me to build another quarry. If I build the quarry over here. It'll bring in one stone again. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's must be a zombie nearby. What's that? That enemy is too close. Oh, they're coming this way. But I'll put that in. I should be able to get one, one metal and one stone from that. And it should speed up the chunk closer. We get to the soldier centre so we can build the archers. So we can defend ourselves. Because at the moment, we've got one ballast cover that was given to us by the mayor. We can't actually build those. Alright, cool. What's this, the enemies are too? No. I want to do it, put it there, because it looks quite good there. You can see I'm on 50 wood, so I really should use some wood in the meantime. So, I'm just going to build a wall around this Bellisca. Using the stone as a protective layer, but you can see it as. The good thing about the Bellisca, you can actually see its range, which is actually well handy. Right, let's get this second quarry. We're almost there with the other quarry. It comes in, but it does eventually speed up. That's not what we want. We want that. So you, then you want to get the quarry there. Put it there. Right, get me one, one steel and one uh, stone, which is pretty handy. This is the repair all thing. So if you repair this, then that will make sure that everything is back to work in order, which is sweet as a nut. So now I've built the quarry, it's going to use four workers, so I need 
another six workers so I can do the soldier center. So again, you go back up to wherever you're building your tents and whatnot. You might need to build a Tesla, which again uses a worker. It's like one of those ones where you, you're creating five, taking five steps forward, but taking two steps back. So it's not terrible, but it can be a bit frustrating at times. Robert, I need to build more. You have to build them down here. This is the only bit of land that I've got in there. Got it there. No. There we go. There we go. That is going on now. So in a second, right? We've got twenty. We should get the workers. Oh, look, we have plenty of workers. So now we go to military. We click on it. We're just waiting for the energy. We're low on energy now. To build, to get energy, we need to build a mill. So you go to the little energy one, build a mill, build a mill down here as well. That's a little bit of protection. Mills you actually want to protect. You need the energy quite badly, so you do not want to start chucking it. Oh, I don't want to take it, put it too far away. Let's put it down here. There we go. It's got a bit of protection there. So the mill should give us the electricity. We've got the workers. Oh, will we have the workers? Because the mill will take all workers away. All right. Quickly build another ten. So we've got the workers. We haven't got the energy, but we've got the energy now. Why have we got the energy now? Because I've taken it. Come on, kill it. That's it. Build another ten there. Alright, come on boys. So the zombies are starting to come in. This is why you need that soldier centre. If you've lost a few of your soldiers already, then you can be pretty buggered quite early on in the game. Alright, we've got plenty of electricity. Plenty of workers. Ah, oh, the food's gone down because they're taking out that. Shoot. Shoot them, noobs. Come on. Alright, repair that. Once that's repaired, we should be able to build. Build. That's it, right. Repair. Then we should be able to go to the soldier center and then that is it we're, we're good i think that's a pretty good solid star soldier center there we go put it there yeah oh look and this isn't bringing any stone now damn right there we go so once that's built then you can click on the soldier center and from the soldier center you can build the archers and i think from there you pretty much got it you, you unlock what you do want to do is get the wood workshop because then from the wood workshop you can start researching things and getting stronger weapons like the great ballista goes in there um then from that you can then go on to research other things like the stone workshop and then from that you can make stone walls and stone towers and make your uh, defenses a lot stronger than they are and that's the way you basically go about it you need to go along and research strengthening things good luck because the final wave is an absolute beast and i'm struggling to make it through one so i hope i've helped you but apart from that i've, I've not completed it so thank you for watching please subscribe for more billy with gamer over and it